Facebook built a face recognition app to let employees identify co-workers Facebook has admitted to building a face recognition app to let employees identify their colleagues and friends by pointing smartphone cameras at them as year Business Insider reported it first saying that the app was developed between 2015 and 2016 but has since been discontinued. The app could only recognize employees and their friends who had face recognition enabled. Facebook said, NASA, Caltex, transforming drone can blast out of moving cannon researchers from California Institute of Technology, Caltech and NASA's JPL developed a transforming drone called Squid that can be launched from moving launch pads. Researchers tested the prototype by firing it from a cannon placed in a vehicle traveling at around 80 kmph. The design is 3D printable and has sufficient thrust to carry a significant payload. The researchers noted, U.S. Army cadets told not to use ByteDance on TikTok in uniform U.S. Army cadets were instructed to restrict using Chinese startup ByteDance-owned lip-sync video-sharing platform TikTok. Amid concerns over the app's handling of data, the cadets can still use the app for their own personal use but not while in uniform or performing official duties. Reuters reported that it found multiple TikToks of young men and women in the U.S. military uniforms. So inspiring. Sundar Pichai, a woman who didn't quit physics after scoring zero Google CEO Sundar Pichai on Thursday, praised a woman named Sarafina Nance and called her inspiring after she tweeted about how she didn't quit physics despite scoring zero in a quantum physics exam this year. Grades don't mean you're not good enough to do it, her tweet read. After pitch I praised her, she tweeted, Thank you so much. This means the world. Quote. Co-founder Kalanak sells $1.5 billion of Uber shares in two weeks. Uber co-founder and former CEO. Travis Kalanick has sold shares of the ride-hailing company worth $1.5 billion since a 180-day lockup period restricting insider and early investor sales ended on November 6. The 43-year-old's holding in Uber now constitutes 40% of his $3.3 billion fortune. According to Bloomberg, the stock has slumped 35% since its IPO in May.